Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney here today to talk to you about an Android app for your Chromebook. This one is called Adobe Photoshop Sketch. So earlier I made a video about Adobe Illustrator Draw. And so the difference between these two apps is think of Illustrator Draw as I'm, a, I'm making a drawing. Think of Photoshop Sketch as I'm using paintbrushes. That to me is the big difference. So let's make a new image and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So over to your left here, these are all very much paint brushes. So if I just, this is the first one it's set to, it's very thin. And if I go and you can see, you see the texture, you see the differences there. If I go in there, that size is small. So I drag it up to make it bigger. The flow is default. It defaults to something less than full transparency. So I can make it very full or I can make it basically nothing. So I'll do that. And then of course I can change the color and I have a picker. I can also use themes, which is kind of cool. So let's try that one now. And again, right now I'm using my mouse and you can see how that does that. Now changing brushes inside each one, there are brushes that you can access. Let me try to click. You have to hold it down. And then right now it's graphite pencil. Let's go to marker brush. And if I go to marker brush, it looks like that. And that one actually looks very similar to that one. And if I go to chisel, I can chisel. Okay. And so you see that. So this is very, all of these are very, um, they remind me more of paint brushes than say pens or whatnot. If I go into this one and now I go to the ink brush, which is right here. Again, it's still a brush and then there's spray and smudge as well. And it kind of applies to all of these, right? You can basically change your brush with all of these. These are just a handful of brushes that you have. I like playing with layers so you can add a layer, whether it's a sketch layer or an image layer. If I do a sketch layer and then I bring this guy in and then see that, by the way, this one right here, let me, this one, is I think it's the acrylic brush. It's this guy right here. This one I really love because you can see, look at, it looks like I have a paint brush and it's leaving the streaks of the brush behind. And by the way, now I have two layers, which is really cool. This again, if your students are artistic, if you want to have them painting, but do it in like a digital way uh, with your stylus on a touchscreen Chromebook, this is so much fun. I'm actually just doing this with my mouse right now. If we insert an image layer, you can, let's see, we take a photo. Hi, it's me on my webcam. Look at that. So I can put that in. Oh, what a great picture. It's very early in the morning here. Um, and now I can play with that just a little bit, but not really. I can resize that. There we go. There I am. And I'll hit check. Uh, and now I have an image layer and now you could, you know, you could draw with that. Now, as far as erasers, get to the layer you want. Let's go down to that first one. And then you have an eraser and the eraser has the same kind of like size, like let's make it a little bit bigger. And now I can start erasing what I first was doing earlier. The eraser is kind of cool. You can make a big spot and then erase inside of it. Um, but as you can see, this is very, very brush centric, right? Um, a Illustrator Draw is has more has more options as far as there. It's more like drawing as opposed to painting. Um, but the the textures, the features on this one are really really cool. So if you want your kids kind of being artistic in your classroom, whether you're an art teacher or a teacher of any other content area, and you just want them to have a little artistic opportunity to create something really cool app for that. If you have any questions about this, please tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney or comment below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.